Hey everyone, it's Julie Silver Stitches here. It is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Um, I think I'm going to be making a daily monthly video, meaning every day. Um, I'm going to jump on the make a daily video thing that everybody, not everybody, but most people are doing. So it's going to take you through the arts and crafts and hobbies that I do every day to get through this time in life. Um, some days, of course, will be shorter than others because, or longer than others, because some days I feel like working on arts and crafts more than, you know, other days. So that was the little intro that I'm going to do, and I'm going to flip the camera around now and show you what I've been working on with James for about two weeks now, um, since this whole quarantine situation started, and we'll go from there. I will talk to you soon. All right, so here is the puzzle that I'm working on right now. Uh, it is two giraffes um, by the watering hole. So it's called Giraffe by the Watering Hole or something. Um, and James and I have been working on it for about two weeks. All those pieces in the middle are just uh, pieces that are doubles um, that I've already been able to put together but not found a home for yet. So I will flip you around again and... Uh, Keep going here we go all right so uh that was the puzzle uh that like i just said james and i have been working on for about two weeks and that bottom grass part i'm about to put it away really really um some other things that i have been doing to spend my time preoccupied um so i'll try and hit on everything here that i do daily all the time um so or things that I want to start there's the thing um I I got it all around me that's how much stuff I do every day I'm gonna start with cross stitch because that's why we're all here so uh floss tube welcome my name is Julie silver stitches uh, I live in Ottawa Canada it's no I live in Carlton Place sorry it's close to Ottawa anyway um, the first one that you have not seen yet, because I have had it in the car, I think, is Owls. Um, Owl Trio by Dimensions. And so this is just a car project. It, uh, it stays in the car, um, and it doesn't leave, except to come see progress on Floss 2. Um, I'm not going to name this Floss Tube on my description or whatever. I'm going to figure it out, but it's not going to be floss tube because clearly it's not all about floss tube. So here we are. Um, I have, I'm going, I'm color completing. So that's, there we are. I have finished the, the two colors. So this color, this, that's like a blended color, this red and brown, and then the yellow is all done as well. So I'm going to move on to the next color whenever I get back to it. And I was thinking about doing my nails again because look disastrous. So next video tomorrow, you'll probably see my nails redone. Since I'm not doing a heck of a lot else, I figured why not have pretty nails? Right? The other thing that I picked up yesterday, um, because I took a little bit of break because my tablet wasn't charged. That's me being lazy. Okay, that's okay. So I got a charger, a charging cable for my tablet. Not not purchased, just got it from another room. Um, I was working on Sad Fairy by, by Elena Lazareva. Say that three times fast. Still can't say it. Been saying it since January 1st. Okay. Um, I got yesterday, I was able to accomplish 265 stitches, so that's pretty good for not working on it for a while. Um, I'll try and insert a picture somewhere, either at the beginning or at the end, but this is where, ooh, cheapers, sorry guys, this is where I'm at now, so I got a lot of, um, a lot of this filled in down here yesterday. Ooh, the light is playing tricks on me. It's very sunny out today. 
I'm not facing the window. I had a really good position. I still need to take out these three. That's, that's good. Uh, no. Anyway, uh, these three parent 225s, but they're really not. Anyway, so I'm just stitching the colors that I have because uh, I just want to let Leanne know it has not come yet. Just throwing it out there. I don't know if it's the COVID thing that we're in right now or what it is, but it has not arrived. Just saying. Um, I will show it to you or them or that, what, however you want to say it, when it comes. Because I'm still super, super excited. I checked my mail this morning and it is 9.15, so there's a mail day today, but because it's Wednesday. Um, alright, so more crafts that I have done that you have never seen before. Hold on, please. Um, so I finger crochet as well. My feet were extremely freezing one day because we've decided that heat is overrated to have the furnace on anymore. So I'm starting to make myself a pair of slippers. Right now it's just a really big, a really big, you know, rectangle. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I've never done it before. Sorry if you're hearing crinkling. That, of course, is one of my cats. Um, they've been getting big troublemakers. Trouble makers. Anyway, so yes, so I started this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I haven't touched it since, and since now that I've shown it to you, I'm going to continue making it. Um, hopefully I can build it into a rotation that, you know, somehow it's just sit in this chair all day and craft. That would be pretty great. It's not going to happen. What do you think they're doing? I don't know if you can hear that. Hold on. Here we are, since it is only, uh, what is it, 9.30 in the morning. They've decided, I don't know what they've decided, but Simon is apparently camera shy as always. Uh, I think it was Charlotte who was trying to get into the bag, because clearly, as you guys can see, there is no food in that bowl. Well, very, very little as far as the cat's concerned. So um, I'm just probably going to take a little break here and make sure that they have some food in there, because crinkling is not a good sign. Anyway, talk soon. All right, so I have the bowl of food in my hand, and they know what to do because this is an everyday thing. Um, so here we go. I'm going to put the food down and see who comes first. They know that they need to sit. They know that they need to sit in order to get their food. Sorry about the disastrous mess on the floor. Charlotte, come on. Come on. We won't be here all day. Anyway, um, Simon, sit. Good boy. Charlotte, come on. Good girl. All right, so they both decided that they wanted to sit at the same time. So uh, it is it is Simon who gets the food first, only because I take turns. Because that's not fair, right? Anyway, talk soon. All right, so another wool crafty thing that I do that I kind of do but don't. But it's in the car, so it's, an, it's another car activity. Um... I guess I should have stuck to all the car activities first, huh? Oh, well. Um, is, uh, hooking, hook. I better figure out what it's called before I tell you, because then I'm not going to mix it up. Here we go. Uh, switching colors. No. Removing. No. What do you call this? You'd think they'd, like, tell you what it's called. Anyway, I'll show you. You tell me. Anyway, I go around and around and around and around on a hoop. So, here's where I'm at. Not very far, of course. I, um, apparently, I'm going to make a scarf. Ta-da! I really only started on the color green. So there's that. That's pretty fun. Uh, that takes a whole lot of concentration, though. 
because it's always flipping off. Always, always flipping off. Always. So if you have any tricks, multi-crafters out there that know how to keep the yarn attached to the little hooks better. I'm already pushing it all the way down, so there's that. Um, let me know. So, uh, I went to a store um, to be able to pick up more uh, cross-stitch supplies because, come on now, right? But while I was at the store, so cross-stitch supplies. So the only Ada that they had left was 14, that was a fun face, eh? Uh, 14 count antique white. So, ta-da! Um, because I realized I don't have any fabric, so I can't start anything else. It's not great. Not a great feeling at all. Because I love everything I'm working on, but you know what? Why would I not just want to work on something else? Um, while I was there, because I took the backwards way, I came across this fantastic yarn. Look at that. I love it. It's sparkly. Can you see the sparkles? Anyway, so it goes from gray, dark blue, like a turquoise, light gray, light turquoise. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. This is called Mandala Sparkle by Lion Brand. And I got two cakes. I'm, I got two. Just because, you know, I don't know what I want to do with them yet. Uh, it takes one, one of these, one cake. Is it, is this a cake or is this, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Plus I got a crochet hook because even though fingers are great, um, I want to learn how to actually crochet. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be crocheted in the, did you see that? Anyway, so that is that. And the last thing that I do to preoccupy my days, but uh, mostly in the car. Not the last. I got another thing too. Okay, so who knows how long this is really going to be. Um, so I'm still reading this, uh, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I am actually a lot of the way through it, so I might as well just, you know, almost finish it because that's, that's how much I have left. Uh, I am looking for book two. I would like to continue reading the series. And my phone's not plugged in and I don't know how much... Hold on. There we go. That's going to go... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, more than a year ago, I guess, because I was working at another store, um, I bought this on one of my breaks. And... I am this far, see where the, anyway, that far into it. So I read it a lot on Monday. Um, Death Gets a Time Out. It's a, I'm just gonna end up reading the back because I can't explain anything ever. And my head is now getting cut off since I came back to the, uh, life is tough around here. Okay, and it is, sorry, it is by Islet Waldman. Anyway. Uh, here we go. I'm going to read it because I think I read The Red Queen. I'm going to reread the back of The Red we Let's just do that. I have nothing to drink. There, there we go. So, The Red Queen. It's only... It's not too bad. Like, the words are super spaced out, so that's good for me compared to my other book that I'm reading. Uh, that is The Glass Sword, so that's not... No. Hold on. The actual story. Is the epilogue part? Yes. Acknowledgements. Okay. Uh, is 383. So that's not so shabby. At one point, uh, I guess it was at the beginning of March, I was reading a chapter a day. That fell through. I don't know why. Uh, since this whole thing started, my whole routine has gotten crazy. So uh, I'm trying to figure out another routine, I guess, on how to function during the day with, you know, limited to nothing to do. Um, but I have so much. 
So the red cream. Are we done? Can I talk? Cheapers. Uh, the Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Uh, Mare Barrow's world is divided by blood, those with red and those with silver. Mare and her family are lowly reds, destined to serve the silver elite whose supernatural abilities make them nearly gods. Mare steals what she can to help her family survive, but a twist of fate leads her to the royal palace itself, where... In front of the king and all of his nobles, she discovers an ability she didn't know she had. Except her blood is red. To hide this impossibility, the king forces her into the role of a lost silver princess and betroths her to one of his own sons. As Mare is drawn further into the silver world, her actions put into motion a deadly and violent dance. Pitting prince against prince and mare against her own heart. So it just says, from debut author Victoria Aveyard comes a lush, vivid fantasy series where loyalty and desire can tear you apart and only certain, and the only certainty is betrayal. I am excited that I only mixed up one, one of those words. And did you hear that? What is the thing doing now? I can't even... There's no balance straightingness anymore. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so really good series. Well, really good book. I don't have the second book yet, like I said, but really good so far. We'll pick up the second. Uh, the second one. So this one is uh, Death Gets a Time Out. This is kind of a car book. I only read it during the car when I'm out and about and bored. We'll see. So this one says... Uh, juggling lunchboxes, piano lessons, and babysitters has made Juliet a bit forgetful, which explains why she is very, ne which explains why she very nearly overlooks her best friend's invitation to the big benefit gala. A little makeup and a lot of hair gel, and she's all set to play with the grown-ups again. At the party, she spots her old friend Lily Green, movie star and mother of two who lets Juliet in on one of, no, there was no word of, who lets Juliet in on a little secret. Her brother is in jail, accused of killing his father's wife, and Lily needs some help in clearing his name. More than happy to oblige, Juliet takes off to investigate, but when she discovers that her famous friend may have played a role in the murder, she feels just plain sick. Or could that be morning sickness again? So, uh, as you can tell, I got it from Giant Tiger. Um, it's a Canadian uh, department store, kind of like kind of like a Walmart, but not. Anyway, uh, so I picked this up on a on a lunch break one time, and I just picked it up again recently. Meaning, when I was Anyway, I think that's it for today. I don't know how long this will end up because there's so many little segments. Um, but I hope that you are taking care of yourself and taking care of everybody in your household um, as much as you can and making sure that everybody is happy and healthy as possible. I will talk to everybody later. Um, I will check in again tomorrow to see what exactly... I did today. Um, so yeah, I will talk to everybody soon. Sparkle and shine. Bye everybody.